Good morning, squad. It is day 118. It's a day. It's Donk and Rampa 2. We're going to continue on with this game, and we're in chapter 4. And uh, we are just outside the new island that we're going to investigate. And then, um, yeah, hopefully we can, we can get a new pet today, too. Uh, who we got? I see a Trayon, Undertow, Sniper Pumpkin, Phoenix Melier, Kavina, Night Soul Knight, MTBCDM, Pickle Muse, Naj Livic, Karistonia, Thirsty Kitty. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we've started a little bit of Chapter 4. Yesterday we finished off the trial. We are. We're going to a new island. Uh, Nekumaru is now a robot. And I don't think there's anything else that's pretty. Well, I think it's pretty much everything. We got about two hours today, so we should at least be able to see a few things. Oh, well, I'm glad you were, you were able to catch up, Karistania. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge has disappeared all of a sudden. I've been wondering this for a while, but how is something as pathetic as Monomi able to defeat a mono beast? No, it'd just be a waste of time to think about something like that. It's useless to think about things that are a waste of time. I've learned that much during my time here. We don't have a new pet yet. We just finished, um... Uh, that one made of poop went away. Um, we have a new egg, so we're hoping to get a new, I'm hoping to get a new pet during the stream. As I walked across the bridge, I started seeing the scenery on the new island on the other side. It was Disneyland. An amusement park? It's like the whole island is one giant amusement park. It looks fun. Amazing. Exciting. Thrilling. That just makes it look even creepier. Interesting. Whoops. To push the other button. It's like a building out of a fairy tale. Minus this creepy looking train. I don't really understand this concept. What kind of attraction is this supposed to be? It's supposed to be a cute looking train, but the design totally ruins it. Well, if that's how it's designed, what well, it makes you think it was supposed to be cute? Maybe just certain Detective P. Papa Chew. Maybe? I felt like the game was kind of slow for stream. And... But I was looking at maybe doing it. Ah! Welcome to the fun house. Fun house? Yes, indeed. With this train I'm conducting, I shall take you all to the fun house. No, thank you. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. Then there's no way I'm riding that thing. Ah! I'd never be able to ride it anyway. Hey, um... You know, in order to go to the fun house, all of you guys have to ride this train. All of us? So... If you want to try to go to the fun house, you got to assemble everyone here. Nonetheless, your body will be crushed asunder by then. Hmm. Yeah. I'm actually just wondering if we'll be able to finish this game before PAX East. This obviously smells fishy. This is clearly a trap. I decided I'm never going to ride this thing. Hey, Elkalin. Okay. Alright, Nagato. <sighs> I'm supposed to find clues about the future foundation and amusement park. Okay. Hey. How about you? Did you find anything? Like your school profile, maybe? Oh, that's right! None of us wanted to come to this island. 
but then Monokuma was like, but there are things that will help you get off the island, and there is like this other thing, and your school profiles. <laughs> I mean, we leave for PAX East next week, like on Wednesday, so it's like a week away. How about you? Did you find anything? Park is missing something. That's not the problem here. I mean, it's supposed to be an amusement park, but there isn't even an arcade. Oh, is that your problem? When you go to amusement parks with your friends, do you just ditch them to go play video games? No, that's rude. I make sure to choose competitive puzzle games or shooting games so we can all play together. Yep. Well, if I had any friends, that is. Huh? Now exists. Should I give it some some stuff? How many hearts should I get? I just want a pet that's not one we've done yet. We've only done half of them. There's even a roller coaster here. Well, obviously, since it's an amusement park. <laughs> Too bad, it's still under maintenance. The ride isn't intense enough yet, so I'm in the middle of powering it up like crazy. I don't think you need to do that. It's not like anyone's gonna ride this anyway. Now, now, don't say that. I also prepared a prize for you. I'm planning to bait us with a prize again. Look forward to it, okay? Anyway, please enjoy the other attractions first. I'll make sure I finish the maintenance by then. Hey, Drasloth. Seven months in a row. Are we having fun dangling the rompers? We are. For now, I should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I gonna do? I should think about that when the time comes. So, for three, you want it to not have too much to spare. Do I want it? I want it to have hearts, though, right? A roller coaster! Roller coaster is the only see reason to go to amusement parks. There's nothing like a good thrill ride. Alright! Apparently it's still under maintenance, but I'll be first in line to ride it as soon as it's fixed. No thank you. Not under this murder island. Greerish hearts. Okay. We'll finish exploring this and then I'll give some gifts. Oh uh, yeah, it's still under maintenance. I guess I should come back here after I've checked out the other areas. What am I gonna do? I should think about that when the time comes. Ah.
Everything's still alive, so I want to keep the food items. Headphones. Don't kill it. Amusement park castles. It's mouse themed. There's a lot of different things I could say about this building, but I probably shouldn't say anything at all. What? Yeah. Mice are the only thing I can't handle. Who cares? You too? You don't like mice either? No. Well, we're siblings after all. No, not mice. I don't like them. No, no not mice. They're gonna chew through my ears. What a couple of loud mouths. I feel like my stress level just keeps rising around them. A lot of you are here. sound coming from your body. Nah, I guess it's okay since he's a robot. It makes sense that he makes mechanical noises now. That sound means I'm feeling emotionally charged right now. I see. Your body makes noises based on your feelings. Okay. Just now, I have activated a new function. A new function? Are you serious? Is it flight? Can you finally fly? Now then, prepare yourself. Last time you showed me this, things came out of your eyes. It opened. All right, that's not as creepy. The clock. I'm able to sense the passage of time. I don't even need to look at clocks anymore. Whether it's training, meals, or baths. There's no doubt this feature is useful in a variety of situations. Yeah, that she comes out of your chest. What are you, a cuckoo clock? Hold on. Cuckoo clock, don't compare me to one of those everyday clocks. <laughs> this highly efficient radio clock. Radio clock. Uh. It's a type of clock that receives radio signals so it can automatically update the time at fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. Oh. That's right, it's a clock that will never slow down. It's even designed so that it cannot be adjusted. <laughs> I have become a Time Lord! Yeah, sure, you know what? Why not? You're a robot. Mm. Even if this, it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What? what are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. Monokumo, he's definitely toying with people's bodies. Oh yeah, I see him creeping out. Found. Hey Gundam. Hey, I was just wondering. You! Is there a mere human going to offer his opinion to me? An overlord? Fascinating. Fascinating, you fiend. If you flinch, I'll you play your die. game, you rogue. Come, tell me. Try to satisfy my four dark devas of destruction. That's right, those hamsters could probably pass for mice, right? So maybe you can defeat Monokuma and Monomi with your hamsters. I already told you, hamsters are merely their temporary form. A 
being like you is incapable of imagining what would happen once they shed their transient disguises. <laughs> uh, ignorance is horrendous. That's why it's only interesting to converse with humans once in a while. He gave some roundabout excuse that makes no sense, but my guess is he doesn't want to put them in danger. Oh my! This building is full of dangerous areas. I feel like I should say something about it. Wow, what a coincidence. I was just thinking the same thing. Oh. Well, no matter how fancy it is, it's got nothing on Miss Sonia's castle, who we've never seen. After all, she's the real deal. Miss Sonia is a 100% pure princess who lives in a 100% pure castle. Don't talk so confidently about a castle you've never seen before. Alright, let's go in. Oh, are not. Maybe a bunch of mice are pressed up against the other side of the door. I was just thinking about it as too awful. No, not mice. No, they'll chew through my ears. Anyway, it looks like we can't go in here. What makes a castle 100% pure? Um, the stamp on it that says 100% pure castle. Approved by... Uh, castle inspectors everywhere. It's a creepy looking building that doesn't seem like it belongs in an amusement park. Is it supposed to be a haunted house? Understand it, but this island certainly feels festive. Perhaps if Kyoko and Ibuki were here, they would have definitely enjoyed this. I don't like this. What the hell's wrong with this island? Why is it this here when they're forcing us to kill each other? Dumbass. Such a bad taste. I've had that pet. The sign on the top of the building definitely says horror house, but it's like whatever building used to be here. It was converted into a haunted house or something. <laughs> Ever since he took away my magic stick, Monokuma has been doing whatever he pleases. I've been reduced to the role of an unwanted child. My influence is weaker than it's ever been. And not just that, look what he did to my house. This is too much. There's nothing good about this at all. This heaps up history will remember me as the greatest character to ever become a one-shot punchline. Oh, uh... oh, Hajime, you were here? You didn't notice until now? <laughs> oh, how terrible of me as your teacher to cry in front of one of my students. That haunted house over there. Is that your house? Basically, need to stick the. No, he broke the stick. We still have it, even. It's just, it's busted. It was. But Monokuma kept bullying me, and it ended up like this. Oh, it was supposed to be cute. My house was supposed to be cute. <laughs> you can't understand what you're interested in, but you can't go inside. Even teachers have a private side that their students aren't allowed to see. Um... Also, you're a boy of a certain age. If you come inside, I'll make sure I leave the door open halfway. Otherwise, my mommy won't shut up about it. Ooh. What am I saying? It's just a what-if scenario, okay? <laughs> right. Anyway, this is Monami's house, and it's safe to say we're not allowed inside. So it's a waste of time to stay here any longer. Oh, right. I think it's time I head over to the roller coaster. Based on what?
Yo, everybody here? Want me to tell you? Want to know something cool? According to Monokuma, we'll all get a treat if we ride that roller coaster together. Hey, hey! I'm not riding that thing. Can I tell you? I get crazy car sick. Ah! Welcome! What? Welcome to the main attraction of this amusement park, the great ultra delicious roller coaster. Hey, hey! Is it really true that we get a prize for riding this? Of course! Sure. What's the prize? No way! Oh no, that's the surprise for after you ride this. This is bad. We really have to all ride this together. What are you saying? Didn't I tell you already? Are those ears for decoration? Shut up! Uh, Shut I'm up. not gonna do it. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Thrill rides are sweet. I already know. Everyone who likes them always says that, but I already know that they're not fun at all. Even so. But there's a possibility that prize is gonna be those ship parts, you know. Uh, that might be true, but. When I ask, where will this ride take us? Nope. It won't take us anywhere, it's just gonna circle around and come back. Um, what is the meaning behind that? You fiend. fiend, have you never gone to an amusement park? I am ashamed. Oh, I'm embarrassed to say that we do not have these in my country. Oh. I see. I've only gone to an amusement park once during my childhood. Listen well. But it was an amusement park in hell, filled with man-eating demons. Huh? There are amusement parks in hell? Wow! I have never heard of such a thing. By all means, please allow me to accompany you next time. Hey, hey, hey! Don't do it, Miss Sonyo. That guy has a habit of lying. <laughs> the entrance fee is the blood of a virgin. I shall offer up your blood as tribute. That is... Oh, that is a shame. It seems my blood cannot be used as the entrance fee. Are you kidding me? Does that mean Miss Sonia? Hey. Hey, everyone. It's just gonna be a waste of time if we stand around like this. See? Why don't we just try riding it? That's obviously wrong! Hold on. Why do we have to just try riding it? <laughs> Echo Maro, can I leave this to you? Understood! Leave it to me! Hey, 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 stop hey, it, hey, stop hey, it, hey, let hey. me go! <sighs> but despite his desperate struggling, Soda got stuffed into the roller coaster. Now then! All aboard the great ultra delicious coaster! That seems wrong. With Monokuma's shout, the roller coaster took off at maximum speed. Yeah! Woo! Mekomaru's got bolts coming off of him in the back. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Die! What overwhelming G-force! Feels like all the screws in my body are gonna fly off! Be still, my heart! This is so much fun! Forcing someone onto a roller coaster when they really don't want to go is the worst. Alright, we've arrived. How was it? Was it that fun? So it's finally over. That was a little too intense. <laughs> Let's go on it one more time. Alright! Yeah, me too. Stop no! It! Hey, hey. More importantly, where's a treat? Yes, indeed! Oh, right. Here you go. The treat is a file. Huh? This a symbol. It's the same symbol on the door of the ancient ruin. If so, this file must be a file from the Future Foundation. Will we be able to find out who they are if we look at this? Hey. Is it all right if I check inside? Here! Sure thing. Do whatever you like. We gathered around Nagato as he received the file and stared at him intensely as he carefully turned the pages. Why did we let him have that first? These are the these are the first students. This is from the first game. Humpspeak Academy ironically became the site for the killing school of life. The mastermind behind the plan locked the students inside the academy and forced them to kill each other. The students who were pushed to their limit eventually reached a state of heightened paranoia. And that's how the killing began. The killings committed by those students lasted several days. But at a certain point, the curtain suddenly fell. 
group of students united and staged a counterattack against the mastermind, who paid with their life. With this, the six students who survived were able to escape the academy. Wait! Hey, aren't those photos on the left? Photos of the six people who survived? Then, what does this mean? Why is he in this photo? Oh, good, we're finally on that realization. I looked down at where Nagato was pointing. Huh? He was much thinner, as if he was an entirely different person, but he looked exactly like someone we knew. The ultimate affluent progeny, Bacula. He looked exactly like him, the first victim on this island. What? This, this definitely looks like Bacula. Impossible. Why is Bacula's photo in here? This is... This... What does this mean? Hey, 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 like, hey, hey. what's this killing school trip that they're talking about? Yep. It looks like the killings we were involved in resemble the set of killings that happened before. And that took in pla place inside Hope's Peak Academy. Hey, bastard! Hold on. Did... Did these killings actually happen inside the Hope's Peak Academy? It's obviously It's not impossible. possible! There's no way the teachers of the place would let that happen. Let me ask. However, what if the future foundation, World Ender, was the one who initiated this? What? You mean that organization that was the one who took over Hope's Peak Academy then? Of course not! That's not possible. <sighs> if Bacula was still alive, we would have been able to learn the details of this. How unfortunate. However... We lost our memories, correct? That should have applied to Bacula as well. Also, Bacula never said a word about such a past actually existing. Let me tell you Well, he this. was killed before he could. So he became the first victim before he could tell us about any of this? Uh, perhaps that's what Bacula was planning to talk to me about. Way back in chapter one. Not talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Was he specifically referring to the killing school life? Hey. Anyway, as long as Bakula is no longer with us, we have no choice but to ask Monokuma. How does the killing school life that occurred at Hope's Peak Academy relate to this island? Hey! Um... The only thing I can say is... It's true! All the answers are in your school memories that were taken away. You? I give them back. Give the memories back to us. No, no! No, no. The Future Foundation took your memories, and I can't do anything about it in my current state. Impossible! Regardless, it's unforgivable. I will never forgive those who try to trample hope. They should all be destroyed. <laughs> this isn't making any sense. How annoying. Hey! Whatever, man. Just let me go home. Where the hell are the ship parts? Who knows? Oh, they should be somewhere on this island. However... I have searched this island once through, but I did not find ship parts anywhere. No. Funhouse should still be left. This too. Based on what I've heard, it seems we cannot access it unless we've all gathered together, correct? Correct! Ding dong. That's right, the treats you can't find yet are all hidden inside the funhouse. Hey! Then the ship parts should be in there too, right? No, not just the ship parts. If he means all the treats, it also includes our Hope's Peak Academy student profiles, which means a clue about my talent would be there too. Might be a trap. It's absolutely a trap. It's like we're already caught in a trap. Alright, let's go. Let's go to the fun house. However... I see. Is that really alright? The fun house is that creepy looking building, right? But we have no other choice. I mean, we might be able to obtain the ship parts if we go there. <laughs> and learn the secret of Hajime's talent, too. Yep. Fine. I think we should go listen to Hajime and over, head over to the fun house as well. <laughs> Looks like you guys have decided. I can't wait! I, I can't have things wait! to prepare, so I'll be going first. Mm. Not really on board with this idea, but if everyone says they're gonna go, I guess I have no choice. I guess I have to go with everyone. I shall go. Plunging yourself into a trap is an act of sheer madness. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it truly interesting. <laughs> then it's decided. Maybe it's because we were shown a new mystery from that future Foundation file, but I was panicking. I couldn't keep still after being forced to see more mysteries that didn't make sense. It felt like I didn't even care if it was a trap. And because of that panic, I completely forgot. Monokuma's traps are always far beyond our imagination. I completely forgot about that.
just need to get on the train, right? No way! Well, there's no really need to be cautious. It's not like it's gonna speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Hey. I'm not gonna believe you this time, so you better be telling the truth. All right. Let's go. As soon as we all stepped on, the small train started slowly moving. I went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs toward glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. What the hell? Is this gas? This is definitely rich. As soon as that white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft, like mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a puddle of mush. And in the end, we lost consciousness. Ugh. When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. <clears throat> Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nekomaru, standing tall in a wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Uh, uh, and I slept good. Oh my! Where are we? What? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seems the others have started to wake up as well. Why was I sleeping in a place like this? Good night. Well, I should go back to sleep for a little longer. That's obviously no, wrong. No, don't. You seriously can't do that. What did you do to me? I assumed that this was that gas is doing. Damn it! That gas we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here. I see. In that case, this must be... The interior of the fun house. Welcome! Welcome to the strawberry house. Strawberry house? Isn't this the fun house? Yep. Of course it's the fun house. Strawberry house is a part of the fun house. <clears throat> a part, you say? Allow me to now explain! Then. This is the strawberry house in its entirety. Alright. You're currently at the indoor park located on the third floor. As you can see, there's a lot of playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, next is the second floor. There's a lounge that's perfect for freshening up, and I've prepared five guest rooms that are lined up like boom. Wait, five guest rooms? Guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is soundproof and has excellent air insulation. Standard room maybe have so so insulation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. That concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of the strawberry house. On this floor, there's a room called the final dead room. That's all like boom! You can enter the final dead room at any time, but be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty setting. What? On the same floor, there's a hallway called Strawberry Hall, and when you pass through it, there's a truly strange room, enormous tower standing tall, like with a boom boom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet to get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. Hmm. This concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wordy explanation. So you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. Hmm? It's all for me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey! W well, yes. What's this? Really? What's your question? What do you to bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do this time? That's right! Yeah, I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one. Hmm? Oh, didn't I explain it to you? <laughs> this is the motive this time. Yeah! An escape game. Escape game? In other words... The concept of this time is close circle within close circle. Like Hope's Peak Academy back then, this fun house is a completely closed space. Hey, There's um... only one way to get out of this closed space building. Viva when killing! the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Let the escape begin. Huh? What the fuck? Yeah. Damn it! Can't get 
get out of here till the next killing happens? This is trouble. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. How foolish of me! If only I'd erected a magic barrier, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. Mm. I let my guard down and end up falling asleep. Hey! Like, why would gas even work on a robot? That's supposed to be what... when you make your move. <laughs> gas should pose a problem, but... If they activate my sleep mode, even I won't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh. That's right, it's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the goodnight button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. You're dying next, aren't you? Well, what's the point of that function? Didn't I just tell you? It puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? In order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. It's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. I'm not even listening. Probably wants to live like humans as much as he can. Such is the sad nature of robotic organisms. Man. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless functions. Um, anyway, Mekomaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Damn it. What a blunder. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. I'll never let that happen ever again. Hey, hey. For now, why don't we look for the exit? But Is there even an exit? I mean, if there was. This wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass! What are you giving up for? We were brought inside this place, and there's definitely an exit out somewhere. Amazing! A heart that fu refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with that map we got. Well? But exploring on your own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right! Then, Akne, you come with me. Huh? Oh. That's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be? Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. There's just something I want to talk to her about. Uh. I don't mind, whatever's fine. Well. Wow, well you two stand right next to each other. There's a noticeable height difference. Bastard! Drop it. You. Hey, if we're gonna go, let's hurry up and go. Damn right. All right, we'll head on first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Miss Sonia! Well, Miss Sonia, I guess it's time we also. However. Sonia, already left with Gundam. Oh my. Huh? Uh, you got dumped. Of course not! Yeah, I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm real popular. It's obviously not true. Now then. I think it's time for me to get going too, so. Hey. Jackie, would you like to go together? Huh? No. Yep. I haven't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then take me with you too. Three people's okay, right? Huh? That's fine, but. <laughs> oh, I get it. So does trying to avoid Hajime. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! What are you talking about? Avoid hatchway. It's nothing like that. What do you mean? Well... Call it a hunch. Maybe Soda can't stop thinking about it, you know. The possibility that you're the traitor. What? Oh, uh, it's just... It's just said what, what Soda was feeling. I mean... Well, you know... The truth is we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. What does that mean? We've been together this whole time and you still don't know who I am? That's obviously wrong! Like, that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Just like, we didn't know anything about me can... The real me? Huh? The only reason we're here is because you were the one who suggested we go to the funhouse, right? Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? That's right! It's not that far-fetched, you know. Uh, I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust you. Hmm. But I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chiaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagato, either. But you're saying Nagato's more trustworthy than me? What the hell? Damn it, why did this happen? Yep. If that's the case, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Soda? Hmm. Aw, oh, but... It's fine, Chiaki, just go. Yep. Got it, see you later. With that, Soda, Chiaki, and Nagato all left together to explore the area. Huh? I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. <laughs> it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh, oh that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Different types of flowers. 
sunflowers, no strawberries. Monokuma said this open area is apparently an indoor park. As expected of Strawberry House, the playground equipment scattered about has a strawberry theme. Of course, I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this. Besides, I don't have time to play anyway. No matter where I look, every area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. Oh? According to Monokumo's trap, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. But it looks like I don't have any business on this floor. <laughs> it's Inyo, Hajime. Let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about a soda fountain? I don't want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. Aha! According to the map, there should be guest rooms and the lounge on the second floor. Oh! Alright, I shall go explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all you. Okay. Wow, this is... So through the stairs... Ah, so this is the lounge. It's also completely covered in strawberries. It's gonna be difficult to relax here. I guess for now I should look for things I might be able to use. Very, very tiny room. There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. Also, the placard on this portrait. Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamuru, Ka Kamukura. Kamukura. Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope's Peak Academy be in a place like this? Also this name. It's so hard to pronounce. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, there's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. I'd love people to call someone with this. When I walked toward the telephone, I immediately noticed it. What is this? Instead of numbered buttons, there's just a single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Why not strawberries? Well, for now, I'll give it a press. That sounds like it's connecting to somewhere. But no one's picking up. Let me tell you this. What a mysterious device. It may be used for summoning rituals. A novice shouldn't touch it carelessly. Probably not that dangerous. Aside from the button, from the button, it looks like any other regular telephone. It doesn't work like a normal telephone, but I don't even know where it's connecting to. This too must be the will of What's causality. What's going on? My four dark devas of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing note to report. Listen. Why have you given up? There may be something going on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too soon to give I'll up. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. Alright, I should try exploring the first floor. I haven't seen yet. But, clock. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't gonna help anything. So, goodbye. I want to go inside the rooms. Ugh. Ugh, oh, polka dots. Let's 
Mario used to communicate with us. Future Foundation. Uh, okay. We got a sewing kit thing. voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. Hey, hey! What do you want to talk about? Well, you know, I'm sure you don't want to hear this since I caused a similar incident. And I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but, <laughs> but when I look at you, I just have to say something. What? And spit it out. Hey! Why do you act so stubborn, you know? Because I know what you're going through. Huh? No. The only reason you're standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like... What are you talking about? I know. So you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling, too. You! What the hell are you talking about? So... Well, like you said, it's better to just be alive. It might hurt to look at his painful appearance right now. <laughs> but you're much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean, for me... Sorry. Huh? Oh, are you crying? I... Right now, I feel very grateful to her, but I can't tell her that anymore. So... But you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, what you're trying to say... I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. But there's a bear in there. And I want it. Fuyuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Akane didn't really understand the conversation. Fine, I must be able to go in there at some other point. Let's go look at the fancy rooms. expected we lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Mm. Yoko and Ibuki. Those two were quite the noisy bunch. It's as if the fire was smothered. And I cannot believe Mikan was the one who murdered them. That's why. No matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy that you came back to us. <clears throat> and I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. Alright. It's time to go to the other floor. This way. I'm glad I don't have head bob on. Head bob with moving strawberry pattern? Wasn't anything terribly important on the third floor or the second floor. But that doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. Oh yeah, that looks fun. Mm. Oh, this is a bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lonely feeling. When in the world is my constipation going to be fixed? Huh. Some more 
more stuff with grapes on it. Elevator? Isn't this an elevator? That's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and the third floor. Does that mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. The grape image. It's the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What will happen if I press this? So, without really thinking about it, I try pressing the button. It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it. But it looks like this elevator isn't usable. This door looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. Allow me to explain! The final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life continuing, you should challenge the final dead room. Life-threatening game. What the hell is that? Did you just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? What the hell's gonna do that? This guy. This guy would absolutely try. Final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life-threatening game. Huh? It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Oh. Now then, the others should be at Strawberry Tower. It's far back as Strawberry Show some spirit. Let's get going. Yeah, figures. According to the map, Strawberry Tower is on the other side of this door. There's no door now. There's no way we can open a door like this. Maybe you just have to push the button that's next to the door. Hmm. You know, the one that has open written on it. What does it mean? It's funny. It's spelled just like the word open. Uh, wait, seriously? Anyway, I just have to push this button then? Nagomaru raised his right arm and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. So, this is Strawberry Tower, huh? The building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, you can't really make it out. Sheesh. More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Huh? Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why... Why do I feel that something doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? What possibly could it be? Tower appear to be many lights built into the floor, illuminating the wall. The lights are all red. As these lights, the walls and the interior design of the tower look red. Now the lights are able to create designs on the wall. However, because these lights are shining on the walls, the ceiling is pretty dark and I can't really see it. Uh huh. We're someplace where they can change the mo motif of stuff, aren't we? Picture on the floor, it's Usami's face. Strawberry in her mouth, even the strawberry themed, huh? At least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. On both sides of the door, on the far back, are two huge pillars. Perhaps, without thinking, I turned around and checked behind me. Just as I thought, there are no pillars or gateposts on both sides of the door Nekomaru and I entered from. Pierce are standing face to face with the other pair. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a great image on it. I thought this was Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image... Doesn't it match the one on the lounge phone and also the one we found near the first floor elevator? Oh. Perhaps this door might be the exit. That's too easy. Huh? <clears throat> Take a look at the map we received from Monokuma. I see. There's a door at the front back, at the far back of the Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. That might just mean that we're not given a complete map, though. Now, doesn't this mean that the exit is on the other side of the door? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nekumaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the door knob tightly with both hands. 
and attempted to pry the door open. However, what does this mean? The doorknob won't budge, not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, it appears to be locked tight. Show some spirit! In that case, I shall use my full power! With a fierce roar, Nekomaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. Wait, isn't it creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. That would be bad. Should we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to force your way through? I see. You have a point. Oh. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then let's go back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. by the elevator over there. Did something happen? Um... Were you safe? I... Apparently Monokuma has something to say, but I have an odd feeling about this. I only have a bad feeling about this. How are you guys doing? Be able to get a general idea of Starberry House's inside? I get the idea that you've projected light on all the walls and therefore at any time you're gonna make us confused by where we are. Huh? Starberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there's other buildings. Of course! That's why there's this thing called a contact elevator. Let me ask. Contact elevator, you say? Hey! Hey! Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think that it moves vertically. This is an elevator that travels along a rail, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. Huh? Grape House. Hey, um... Fun House is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. See ya later! Well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be going ahead. Huh? I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? Um... And that we must ride this elevator, right? Are we screwed? What should we do? Show some spirit! We just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. I mean... But, you know... <laughs> what, you scared? Of course not! Hell no. Why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Huh? Fine, I'll go. I'm not scared. Well, I don't have it as bad as Soda, but I do have a bad feeling about this. You can't just stand here and do nothing. I also have a bad feeling about the fact that we all have to go as a group. Press the great button next to the door, immediately opened. I stepped onto the elevator and off we went to Grape House. Ah, I see they made the elevator fun too. Is this really already hmm. moving? If so, that'd be awesome. How so? Hey. I mean, it's not vibrating at all, right? The switches on the door just change the lights, don't they? It's probably a really high performance elevator if it's not vibrating all that much. Hmm. Maybe it's not actually moving. Alright, let's open the door to make sure. You must not! You cannot, that is too dangerous. After staying inside the vibration free elevator, eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. It appears we've arrived at our destination. So, this is Grape House. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with grape patterns. I was already fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome! Welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain Grape House. What? Alright. This is Grape House in its entirety. So, let's start explaining the first one. Aside from the fact that there's no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like how there's a Strawberry Hall over there, there's a Grape Hall. And when you go through Grape Hall, that means there's a Grape Tower. The second floor of Grape House is this 
came as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about my proud accomplishments and contributions, feel free to study the literature here. Wow, what a weird... Now then, this concludes the tour. But I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So you should go use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. Hmm? That's all for me. Any questions? Like... I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food? Is that necessary? Hey! What are you saying? Of course it is. <laughs> it's supposed to be an escape game, so how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So I've decided to use your stomach since the time limit. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other words... Well, simply put, it means kill someone before you starve to death. Lies! What the heck? If you're planning to kill someone, I highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey! What? Starve? Damn it! How much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Was he serious about there being no food? I don't want that! No, that's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. Jeez. As soon as she learned there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessions are truly annoying. <laughs> but at least try to stay calm. Now's not the time for you to panic. Hey. Being loud here isn't gonna help us. For now, we should explore the inside of this building, too. Right? After all, if we don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey! Hold on. This time around, I really want to pair up with Miss Sonia. Like... She already left with Gundam. Mm. Looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Hey. Soda, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Damn right. I can you too. How much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. Heavy steps, everyone, left to explore Grape House. Then... Where should we start? Uh, we're on the first floor. It might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. I see. Hmm. So you're saying you're gonna start with the most suspicious place. Well, let's start with Grape Tower. Show some spirit! Anyway, let's find the exit. There's no way I'm gonna let myself starve to death in here. Elevators behind us. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like at Strawberry Hall, I only need to press this button. Show some spirit! Kamara raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. <clears throat> it's not opening. Huh, that's weird. When we were at Strawberry Hall, this should have opened. <gasps> Don't tell me it's out of order. Find time for it to break down. Well, it obviously should. Good joke. Did you hear something? That's when Nekomaru started shouting. The door opened. But what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I see. Because the room was spinning? Grape Tower. Mm, the structure of the building doesn't seem all that different compared to Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. This wall is green. Strawberry is tall. Or as wall is red. Well, speaking of different, there's something blatantly different over there. On the Grape Tower door at the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. Mm. Strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of the Strawberry Tower. So, on the Strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, a Strawberry door. That's even more complicated. However, this time, the door might connect to the outside. I see. It's obvious by looking at this map, since there's nothing beyond the far back door of Grape House. So the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. I heard you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? What'd you say? Before we get to that, why are you here, Chiaki? Weren't you with Nagito and Soda? Mm. It's exhausting to be around those two. Oh, so you ran away. 
Well? The door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. <clears throat> Definitely, you say. It's rare for Chiaki to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret of the Funhouse's structure. The secret of the structure? Want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its respective tower. Hey, hey. First, try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From the elevator, Strawberry Hall is on your left-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at the Strawberry Tower, right? See? On the other hand, Grape House, from the elevator, Grape Hall is on your right-hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you end up in the Grape Tower, right? Um. Now, here comes the main point. For those two buildings... Whoa! Oh, so you're here all along. Hey, hey! Jackie, yeah, don't go running off on your own. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly I was worried about you. Soda, Nagato. You. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left all alone with Nagato. Man. Was that annoying for you? That's right! Well, hell, it was. I don't want to be alone with a creep like you. This is troubling. See, so it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either. Huh, Soda? Hey. Are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Shut up! Shut well, up! Well, yeah, thanks to you. Huh? Oh, you all came. <laughs> Good timing. We didn't have time... We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. Huh? That was quick. I thought your investigations would take more time. Well, yeah. There were many areas to search, and we didn't find any good clues. Damn it. Right now, the only thing I found out is... I, there's I seriously no food anywhere. This ain't funny. Damn it! I heard that it's super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know... The hamsters that Gundam carries around. You insolent fool! You imbecile, what are you implying? Ah! I'm sorry. It was close. Soda, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you'd gotten your hands on my four dark davis of destruction, your body would be incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey! But are the hamsters gonna be okay without food? I shall go. Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's indoor park are cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark davis of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. <laughs> oh, I'm relieved to hear that. <gasps> now then, let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I'd rather let Chiaki continue her talk, but... Oh, well, I guess I'll listen to all these people first. Now then! Is it fine if Gundam, Fuiko, and I present or represent our teams and give the reports? Damn right! Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> Rejoice, mongrels. I have discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course! Yeah, our team's discovery is number one. We shall not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Uh, no. Fine. I don't remember who was supposed to talk. I'm just gonna touch you. Gundam. Not okay. <laughs> Now that I shall present to you my discovery. Let me tell you. I won't let you say such nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there are ship parts in the fun house. Hey, hey! Could it be? <laughs> Soda. And you lowly humans. Neo. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me, the overlord of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. <laughs> Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, it's in that. <laughs> it's just a radio controlled toy. Fine. Allow me to tell you a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because nobody has ever bought me a toy before, but I believe this is truly remarkable. Shut up! I'm not Shut asking up. about that. You mean the ship part you found was just some radio-controlled toy? Loser! <laughs> you totally got tricked. Never said a single word about the ship being real. <laughs> Looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. Might be better if we leave him alone for a while. This is definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our student profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Huh? Chiaki, when I realized you suddenly disappeared, I couldn't believe she went to you of all people. And now everyone's gathered here all of a sudden? What's going on? Better not say I lured everyone here. Uh, well, it's not like that. 
But you look like you already knew this place was important, so you were totally casing this area. So once someone is suspicious to, of me, anything I do will look suspicious to them, huh? What should I do? Damn right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. The second floor of the Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones in the second floor of Starry House. <laughs> but instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge, which looks exactly the same with a strawberry on the phone. It's phone lounge, too. However, instead of the grape button, there was this phone. Okay. Hmm. Now then. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those two phones to communicate with each other. I'm still not convinced those rooms are separate. For sure. So the picture on the button shows or each phone connects to. Turn the button shows. Blah. blah. All right. Now then. Yeah, I didn't want to talk to you, but do Someone it. Like I'm the one who made this discovery. It's just as important as I am. No good Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, bastard! Just say it already. Um. The third floor. See. Remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go there. Jeez. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me of those celebrities who build their home, memorial house in their hometown. Hmm. Then it looks like we don't even need to go in there ever. Actually. Oh, also I found a lost child at the Monokuma archive. A what? What? Where'd you go? Hey! What? Oh, okay. He's like, seriously? I. Hello. This is the last child was you. Right? Right? That's how people react, right? Well, I had a general idea of how you would all react. It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. How sad. It's so sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Um. Did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monomi? <laughs> yes, I'm so ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. No! I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide everyone. Like... Nobody here considers you a teacher to begin with. <laughs> but I'm honestly happy you're here. <laughs> huh? <sighs> hey, are you a complete stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No! Oh, I'm expected to be food? Hey, hey. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? Let me ask. The structure of the funhouse? Well? Well, I've come to a conclusion. The grape tower that we're currently in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier, I think they're actually the same building. <clears throat> the two towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. The fact that everything's made yeah. of lights. Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when you back your back is facing the elevator. Mm. But in the inside the grape house, the grape hall is on your right when your back is facing the elevator. So if you think about it and put those two together, mm. the two towers are the same building and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Strawberry Town Grape Tower the same building? But that might be a possibility. Come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that Strawberry Mitch uh, the same one that's on the elevator and telephone? Then, in the same way, wouldn't the image on the door also be showing where it leads to? I see. If that's the case, it would mean the Strawberry House is beyond the door with the Strawberry Image on it. As well as the opposite, the grape door is what is at the strawberry tower would lead to the grape house. Meaning we opened the grape hall's door when we came in here. So depending on which door we use, this tower changes to either strawberry tower or grape tower. Perhaps 
which means when you look at the other side of the Great Hall door that we used to come in here, yep. the Great Picture should actually be on here. Hey. Then all we gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side, mm. that might be impossible. Huh? Why? Well, Hajime and Nekamaru were the first ones to enter Grape Tower, right? Oh. What's wrong with that? Well, when you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall, didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? See? So, just as I assumed. How, how do you know? Uh, when I was walking around by myself, I went back to Strawberry House for a while. I felt like there was something I missed when suddenly, the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of me door automatically closed? Yep. And afterward, no matter how much I pressed the button, the Strawberry Hall door wouldn't open. Um, but why? Perhaps. The doors to Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower must be designed so that they can only have one open at a time. Huh. See? I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out both towers are the same building. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? I mean, we're in the middle of a killing game. There's really not that much fun about this house. And the reason the Strawberry Hall door automatically closed in front of you? So what I mean is... Was it because we opened the Grape Hall door? Yep. When that happened, the Grape Hall didn't open because it was waiting for the Strawberry Hall's door to close. When we think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like... You're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are different, you know. There's no way they're the same building. You don't know? You didn't notice? They're just lights on the floor, being shined on the wall. By reflecting a colored light onto a white wall, it makes it look like the wall has changed color. Wait! Then, what about the picture on the floor? Is that different too? Um, Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor? In fact, when you look at it closely, it's not a picture that was actually drawn on the floor. I got it. I see. But it's safe to say the same building. But, but this is a very important problem. So isn't it better if we test it out? Uh, we should leave something behind here, and then we can all go to Strawberry Tower. Right. And if it's still there, we can conclude that they're the same building, right? I see. Want me to stay then? Hold on! No, there's a sensor prevent- That's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensors? Huh? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's floors and walls. <laughs> Why can't you notice them? Hey, hey. I'm more surprised that you actually noticed them. Huh? My guess is that sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. Mm. And when it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I know there I knew there'd be at least something like that. Hey. How good is that sensor's performance? Mm. Mm, high performance. Seems that it can even detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Then it'd be completely possible for someone to stay behind. Unless they were a robot. Hey. What about Nekamaru? He's a heartless robot. <laughs> I have a motor riding inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But... Well, if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? Jeez. Like you said, if I see cell functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but... Just do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo-prejudice. Can we not just leave a thing on the floor? We all have things. Sorry, you're right. Mm. Once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed off again, or if my chest alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. You went to fool! It is far too dangerous, even as an experiment. It is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. Hey, hey. Then why don't we just use this? My student handbook. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll all move over to Strawberry Tower. If by chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say the two towers are the same, right? You're right, let's try this. We left behind Chiaki's heat and book right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. We all have things, dearie. We do- It's Sakura! Why is this ogre statue wearing a sailor uniform? I suppose the game won't let me go. Okay, am I a 
stairs, will it? What happened? Yeah, figured. Okay. Uh, elevator. Like Sakura. I see. I see. I say this elevator is rather quiet. It's like the toad's wart. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, thanks for the cheer, Kavina. Hey. hey. Sakura was a great character in the last game. Toad's wart. What you talking about? Doesn't feel like we're moving extremely fast. It seems it's moving very slowly. If so, the two houses might be surprisingly close. Uh. If two towers are connected in the middle, the distance between them shouldn't be that much. All right, let's head over to the strawberry tower. Right. That's still okay. Press the button. Hey, off, hey. Off, and I'll press. Stay it. back. Step aside, you fiends. What? Embassy of evil. In accordance with our ancient contract, the time has come to lend me your aid. Go, my four dark devas of destruction! Pass through Supernova Silver Fox ND! Choo choo! Good. Press the button? <laughs> Truly, this is the Skyline Lamentation. Art of the Demon Mouse. <laughs> Soon the door of destiny shall open. Wow! Amazing, your hamsters are truly skilled. So you I have see your beard. eyes manage to follow Sandy's movements. As expected of the Dark Lady, you have my praise. Amazing! Oh, truly amazing. You must have a strong, trusting relationship with them. Thank you. Aw, you got all embarrassed. So cute. Huh? To bother making your hamster press it. Mm. Just as I thought, it's taking a while to open. Mm. Considering what we discussed earlier, the sensors will confirm that nothing is moving inside the tower, then wait for another for the other door to close. <coughs> At the moment I heard a loud sound from the other side of the floor door. My oh, look over there. The moment we stepped inside. Starry Tower, Sony raised her voice, and I looked where she was pointing. It's there, the handbook. Yep. There's no doubt, this is my student handbook. Huh? If the handbook Chiaki left in the Grave Tower is here, then that means... <laughs> it means that we've confirmed it. Yep. Strawberry Tower and Grave Tower are actually the same building. And depending on whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, the tower becomes either Strawberry Tower or Grape Tower. Huh? Then, that door over there with the grape image on it. I see. It's not the exit, but it appears it's connected to Grape House. It's Grape Hall. This is troubling. But also means we have no idea where the exit is. Hey. Well, I guess that can be helped. There's no way we'd actually find the exit that easily. <laughs> anyway, I'm surprised. I can't believe you already uncovered a secret like this. As expected of Chiaki, you're truly amazing. Normally all you do is stare into space, but at times like this, you really pull through for us. However... Why was this building designed so strangely? You're so evil! Oh, there's probably no reason, and it's simply because it's a fun house. That's all the reason Monokumo needs. Who are you again? That's... The Monomi! Why did you forget about me? <laughs> that reminds me. Whatever happened to the Monokuma announcement? Huh? What do you mean? According to my internal clock, it's already past 10 p.m. Oh my! Is it that time already? Damn it! Despite that, why hasn't there been a Monokuma announcement? Monokuma appears! Allow me to answer. Every single day up until now, I have consistently let you know when it's morning and night on this island. And thanks to that, you've been able to live a normal life. You guys? Did you guys mistake me for some kind of pre pretty alarm clock? Hello. Ah, uh, well, it's totally true that I'm pretty, but <laughs> what are you trying to say? Hmm. For the time being, the Monokuma announcements are on hiatus. I can't go outside and there are no windows here, so it's not like it matters if it's morning or night. <laughs> also, I've been thinking of a little something to replace the Monokuma announcement. I don't like this. What's wrong with him? 
Well, there's no announcement. We can just look at the clock. Um... Both Strawberry House and Grape House have clocks in their first floor lounges. <laughs> Even if I don't look at a clock, I have my internal clock, so it's no problem for me anyway. <laughs> oh, he's so gonna die this time. It's already past 10 p.m., right? I'm starting to feel sleepy after hearing that. Mm. Since we don't have food, it might be better if we rest and conserve our energy. Hey. For now, let's just decide our room assignments. Room assignments? Um. Each house has five guest rooms, so we should first decide who's going to stay in which house. Mm. Why don't we make things simple and split them between boys and girls? Yes. Let's do that. Man. It's a bummer. Well, I guess it makes sense. This too then must ladies be the first. Will. Now then, let us begin. Now then, kittens, choose which house you would like. Mm. Well, let's just choose the grape house. Staring at a red room is just gonna strain my eyes. Oh. Then the men shall have the strawberry house. Strawberry men are known for passion. Hey. Also, each house has had guest rooms of varying quality, right? Damn right. Wasn't it two deluxe rooms, one soured room, and two crummy rooms? For now. And we need to decide those next, huh? There are only five rooms in each house, right? Then one guy will be left over. Sure. This means there's only one appropriate way to settle this. Appropriate way? Rock, paper, scissors, of course! Suddenly, the rock, paper, scissors battle between six guys had begun. And the results? <laughs> I ended up winning so easily. That's right, I totally forgot. Nagato is the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> so I take second place. That's fine. I was getting bored of always being on top. Huh? It's decided. You two will get a deluxe room. Now then, regarding the third winner. <laughs> it's me. I will be resting in the standard room. Damn right. Me and Soda are next. Damn. Oh, so I get a crummy room, huh? Well, it's better than rooming with someone. <laughs> That's unfortunate, Hajime. You can rest in the lounge, but try not to catch a cold. Hey. Hey, how about you, you Grape House girls? Did you all pick your rooms as well? Yep. Yeah, we did. We had a brief discussion and settled things smoothly. Sonia and I have the deluxe room, and apparently Akne wants one of the crummy rooms. Huh? Why did you choose the crummy room? There's still standard room left over. It's not like that! It's good enough for me. You guys might think it's pretty crappy, but it's a palace compared to my home. Um... So there's a standard room and a crummy room left. <laughs> Hajime, if you would like, please use one of them. Huh? Hey, hey, hey! You can't do that! Oh my! Why not? Well... I mean, it's dangerous. Hajime might be the traitor, you know. Um... What are you saying? Miss Sonia? What? what am I... Uh... So... We haven't doubted Hajime at all. Like... Even I don't think he'd try to trick us. <laughs> Seems you're the only one who thought Hajime was suspicious. Hey! Really? Of all people, you're gonna say that? You're really gonna say that? Right? Hajime, you can use one of our leftover rooms. Thank you. I feel bad about using the standard room, so I'll stay in the crummy room. But even so, it really helps that I have a place to sleep. Oh! Now then, it's decided. We should turn in for today. Aw, man. Uh, it like, doesn't make any sense. And so, all the guys except for me ended up staying the night on the second floor of the strawberry house. And all the girls, plus my leftover self, stayed on the second floor of the grape house. Uh... Oh jeez, just as I thought, I was forgotten. <laughs> well, I'm used to it after all. <laughs> so, this is the second floor of the grape house. <laughs> Choosing Grape House was definitely a good decision. Hmm? What do you mean? Um... See, Strawberry House is a quadrilateral, but Grape House is hexagonal. <laughs> that means this place is far more spacious. It is quite a good bargain. For a princess, you sure do think about petty stuff. Sleepy. Ugh, oh, sleepy. Flex rooms are the two rooms at the far back, right? Is it okay if we go already? Yo! Two rooms at the front are the crappy rooms, right? Hajime, use the room next to the lounge. Then... So the standard room across the lounge will remain unoccupied. Easy as pie! I shall prepare nameplates for our rooms later. I shall also include portraits of everyone's face. You don't really need to draw our faces, but the nameplates might be a good idea. Good night. Good night. After reaching the limits of her sleepiness, Chiaki staggered over to her deluxe room. Good day. Now then, I shall retire for the evening as well. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night, see you tomorrow. After exchanging good nights, everyone went into their guest rooms. I guess I should also sleep. Ugh, I had I think I was assigned the crummy room that's next to the lounge. Oh, but now I can look around.
Hmm. Weird. Go to the floor. No! Can't. This is a surprisingly shabby guest room. It's a little cold in here. The draft coming from the door is making me hungry. I shouldn't be talking like that. For now, I need to endure it no matter what. No matter what happens, I will definitely prevent a killing from happening. I won't let Monokuma get what he wants. I don't even know how to begin to say that. Why Morse code? To tell you the truth, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> this concludes the Monochrome Theater Morse code edition. <laughs> it's morning already? Now that there are no Monokuma announcements, I don't feel like my usual self anymore. There should be a clock in the lounge. I should head over there and see what time it is. See the face plates have been put up already. Let's see, the time is 9 a.m. It's later than I'm used to waking up, but I guess it still counts as morning. I thought we woke up around 10. Now then, what should I do? In this kind of situation, panicking will accomplish nothing. It might be better if I spend time like I normally do for as long as I can. I should find someone to talk to. Or it might be a good idea to just stay in my room and conserve my energy. Yes. Okay. Time to explore. I need to go to the standard room upstairs so I can get that bear. Monokuma archive that Nagato was telling me about. Apparently there are no clues that might be useful for escaping this place, but in the future it may be necessary to know about the enemy. Famous Monokuma Quotes Volume 1 Here's one free massage ticket. Of course, you're the one who's going to give the massage. We keep using blah, 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 blah.
I knew you could do it. All right, got that one. There's a Monokuma statue behind the Monokuma. Has a weird outline. Okay, we'll go look for it. Oh yeah, I see. Good eye. Huh? Are you serious? Alright. Now... Who do we want to hang out with? Oh, they changed his avatar to be a robot. Uh... Fuyihiko? I really haven't hang hung out with him, so that would not be a bad idea. Um, looks like he is... Stay in this place. What should I do? Let's hang out. Huh. Spent time with him. <laughs> we grew closer. Uh, that's what I've got. Secret boots. Hmm. <laughs> he might take the boots as an insult. That's true, too. you're doing to me. That's pretty considerate. Huh. You'd make an awesome underling. Hey, Fuko. How's that wound on your stomach doing? Huh? It's fine. Nothing to worry about. I thought you'd say that. 
You must have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. <laughs> I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this is all a dream. A dream, how? How great would that be? Ah, sorry, obviously you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well, it's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up until now. As long as I'm burdened with the Kuzuryu name, I'll always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. But you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives mucking each other off like this. This guy has always known violence and death. I see. He's used to it. Huh. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. Hey! The world is a barbaric place, especially my world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. You guys have different values than I do. Hmm. My old man likes to say, predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead. Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Being a Yakuza means you can kill, even kill the man you love to get your point across. Hmm. I've been hearing stuff like that since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. Like... A few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. Pekka. But whenever something like that happened, Pekka was always there by my side. I'm sorry, I made you remember something painful. Huh? What? You don't need to apologize for that. Strange. But still, I'm the rightful successor of the Kuzurio clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> Yeah, by the time I was in the second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. I see. Good, good for you. Hey, bastard! Good for me, don't treat me like a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. <laughs> anyway, it's not much. I'm starting to get to know Fuiko a little better. After talking to Fuiko about some other things, I parted ways with him and returned to my room. Uh, there should be time for me to roof around more freely. So, more free time. Alright. I want to go talk to... Maybe Gundam again. Actually, I haven't talked to him in a while. some sort of insect puppetry. <laughs> but how foolish of them to involve me as its sacrifice. I'll destroy Don't you! make me get serious. Do you want me to purge your soul from the cycle of rebirth? I spent time with Gundam today, even though he's still acting weird at a time like this. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer. Uh, yeah, I think I have uh, some strange sword technique scrolls and stuff he probably quite like. Um, there's that, but it was also... My demon beasts are intrigued. Oh well, I guess I'll let you go with this. Let me tell you this. Okay. If you cherish your life, it's better if you don't come any closer. My magical beasts have a thirst to kill. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. How pitiful. Just as I thought. You know nothing. 
You will know true terror if you look down on them just because they fit in your paw. They are cruel devil beasts that will devour their parents, their siblings, and even their own children. Their territoriality is frightening. They'll never stop attacking until their opponent is dead. Oh, Today's fight goodness. started when Sandy got greedy and encroached upon Jumpy's territory. Jumpy was knocked aside and his foot stepped into Magazi's territory. Then Magazi got angry and unleashed his anger onto Champy. Listen well! I was able to quell their age. Their rage by sacrificing my left hand. But it may not be that easy next time. I see. That's troubling. Could be the reason Gundam's hand is always wrapped in that bandage? Let me ask. By the way, do you know which species of my four Dark Devas of Destruction has the largest body? You mean, which species of hamster? Um... Golden hamsters are the biggest species, right? It was close. Yes. Those fearsome demon beasts boast the largest size among all hamster species. However, they are also the most docile and are known for being the smartest, too. Other tribes feel no fear, thus they give it their all when fighting and ripping what stands before them. It appears but only Goldens know escape. fear, thus they usually do not bare their teeth once they recognize you. You're saying they understand what happens when they bite people? This too That's why you must, must pay attention to their causality. stress levels when you're breeding them. Hmm, certainly didn't know that. Nature. However, that isn't the, the only world. feature of Goldens. They have many other unlimited possibilities. Their fur color, quality, and patterns. You could even say they have unlimited combinations. This body is After much research, the fruits of my labor was about to be born. A fearsome demon beast with sparkling silver fur. A hybrid creature with dominant spots and bands. How foolish of me! But now all I can do is pray for the safety of the mother and child I've left behind. I don't understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. You were probably taking care of other animals, right? Um, are, are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. There are no problems in that regard. I have pupils all over the world. I've already given them orders to continue my research into the synthesis of demon beasts. <laughs> they know how to avoid any lethal genetics. They will carry out my will and conduct no atrocious experience. I shall Beyond this that, world. I've already made arrangements to leave my demon beasts to those I trust. Oh, well he's prepared. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink of how much I, how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. You, you will never experience such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But if you ever do breed them, make sure you provide plenty of exercise, high-quality food, and a good place to sleep. How such luxuries mean everything to creatures who only live 1,095 days after they are born. Remember well. And then he walked away. I feel like I got a glimpse of the deep infection Gundam feels towards all animals, not just hamsters. Okay. After seeing Gundam wallow in sadness, I left the area. There should be time for me to move around some more freely. Oh, I'm getting so much free time today. Let's take a look at the report cards. If we think Nekomaro might die, it might be a good idea to talk to him. Yeah, we want to talk to Nagato. Mm. I guess we could talk to Soda. Or Sonia. Yeah, sure, let's talk to Sonia. Let's find Sonia.
I'm starting to feel somewhat dizzy. Just as I thought, this wallpaper color is dreadful. Let's hang out. I spent time talking to Sonia at the indoor park. Probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Thirsty give his kitty has been gifting some subs. Uh, one to Oak and one to Fickle Muse. Thank you very much. I really have this. <laughs> oh, you are truly kind. By the way, you're really good with words. Of course. Of course, I have done much studying after all. You speak really fluently. Yes. Yes. I do not know how many times I have seen. I will arrest your eyes. When I arrived in Japan, the first thing I did was run across the Spain Zaka. Uh, I see. I don't really understand, though. Um, In my opinion, I believe the best Japanese dramas were well, the ones aimed at women between the ages of 20 to 34, just before Japan's economic bubble burst. The trendiness, energy, and quality entertainment was truly at its zenith during this period. I see. It's no use. I can't keep up with what she's saying at all. What the heck does she mean by bubble? However, Like all entertainment, Japanese dramas heavily reference their native culture. Because of this, slang expressions were often used, so there are some things honor foreigners may not understand. Um... Hajime, if you're willing, will you train me? Train? Uh, sure, I can teach you some things I get, but... <laughs> okay, so for example, um... when lovers go on a ski trip, they always end up trapped by a blizzard, right? In that situation, what do you call the ritual where they warm themselves under a blanket while naked? Uh, it's not really a ritual. It's, um... How should I put it? It's more like a cliché. I... Oh, is that so? I certainly thought it was something that's known in my country as Makango. Huh? Um... It is a tradition in my country. According to tradition, lovers cannot become one until they show each other the Makangos they have grown. It is too embarrassing, so please do not make me say it. Pat the Panda, hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the squad. Embarrassing. What is a Makongo anyway? I cannot say. He will get a nosebleed. Is it really that embarrassing? It seems the Novoselic Kingdom is filled with more mysteries than I thought. After having an awkward conversation with Sonya, I returned to my room. What time is it right now? Huh, it's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought, I can't get a sense of time. It is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still early, but I should go back to my room. Okay, no. I literally have to go to my room. I'm trying to do my best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Ah. Oh, I heard that. What are you gonna do? Are you whining already? It's only your second day. So, geez, of you to do that. That's all you I can say, geez. You should just stop being stubborn. Hurry up and start killing already. What do you want? My don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News! Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here. You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. Yeah. In order for you guys to get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at the Great Tower tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility. So you figure it out, by the way. Being late is strictly prohibited. Bye-bye! Okay, then, goodbye. Service with all your heart, huh? 
It's no use. My stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. I pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pains, and went to sleep. Today I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, what do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and he's a rude pig, but he's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. That he can't live without me. He's usually cold toward me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterward he cries and gently hugs me. I hate this job. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. Those were the results. This is oh, I'm so loved. I don't think I belong to one person for a while. That was weird. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's awfully must be. It obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then head straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6:30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. And so, we will find out what is in the Grape Tower tomorrow. Tomorrow at today's today, Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific time. That'll be it for today. Um, yeah, so we'll be playing this game on Thursday, probably Friday. I gotta think of something for Saturday, but we'll see. So thank you for hanging out. Thank you very much for cheering, following, subscribing, chatting, all the things you do, and yeah. Uh, also, I believe today is the day that the last episode of Metopia will get placed up onto YouTube, so look forward to that. And yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.